Hi everyone. Welcome to Hop and Learn with Afrin. I hope you are all doing well with your examination and uh, thank you for your support. I have crossed 100 subscribers. So, today I am going to give important questions of DSP, Digital Signal Processing. So, if you like my videos, please share it, comment it and subscribe it. So, let's get into the video. So, today I am going to give important questions of DSP, Digital Signal Processing. So, from Unit 1, total you have 11 questions. So, these are, I am giving total uh, theory and numerical. So, I am giving theoretical and as well as numerical importance. So, on which numerical, on which topic you have to uh, uh, prepare and theoretical questions I am giving from unit 1. So, this is first question. List out advantages and disadvantages of DSP. Advantages and disadvantages of DSP, Digital Signal Processing. Explain the classification of discrete signals. You need to classify discrete signals. Define sampling rate. Okay. Next one, sampling theorem, Nyquist rate, Nyquist interval. You need to define sampling rate, sampling theorem, Nyquist rate, Nyquist interval. Next question is, what is aliasing? What is aliasing? Fifth one, define discrete system. Define discrete system and discuss it classification. So, you have two times I have given this importance. So, it is most important. Next. Show LTI system can be described by unit step response. Next. You need to explain. Explain the time invariant, linearity, stability and causality. Stability and causality. You need you they may ask this question. I'll highlight this. They may ask this question as they may ask uh, uh, definitions and problems. So both numerical and as well as theory. Both you need to prepare this. Next, discuss down sampling and up sampling. Discuss down sampling and up sampling. Next, frequency domain analysis of decimator. Frequency domain analysis of decimator. Next, interpolation process. Interpolation process. Last but not least, sampling rate conversion by decimation interpolation factor. This is also both theory and as well as numericals. Sampling rate conversion by I or D. So, total 11 questions you will have. I will show it again. The unit 1 questions. Advantages, disadvantages of DSP. Classification of discrete signal. Sampling rate, Nyquist rate. Aliasing, discrete system, classification. All these are important. Next. From unit 2. Differentiate Fourier series and Fourier transform. Most important. Repeatedly they are asked this. Differentiate Fourier series and Fourier transform. Next. Distinguish between DFT and FFT. Explain DFS of periodic sequence. Define DFS. This is also an important question. Define DFS and prove, prove properties of DFS. Next. I said that I will give the important topics of numericals that you need to prepare because all questions cannot be given. So, numerical problems on 4 point, okay, 4, 4 point and 8 point DFT, IDFT, 4 point and 8 point DFT and IDFT, numericals problem on 4 point and 8 point DFT, IDFT. So, DSP is mostly theory as well as numericals. They may ask 
ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑल दे मे आर ऑल थियरी ऑल बोथ थियरी एंड न्यूमेरिकल सो आई एम गिविंग बोथ थियरी एंड एज वेल एज न्यूमेरिकल्स सो नेक्स्ट स्टेट एंड प्रूव द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिस्क्रीट फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्म स्टेट एंड प्रूव द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिस्क्रीट फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्म नेक्स्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो एन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बाई टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल कंप्यूट डी एफ टी कंप्यूट डी एफ टी बाई यूजिंग ओवरलैप से मेथड ऑप्टेन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डी एफ टी एंड डी एफ एस ऑप्टेन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डी एफ टी एंड डी एफ एस दिस इज ऑल्सो एन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बाई टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल एक्सप्लेन एफ एफ टी by taking an example explain fft next see new again numericals problem numericals on dft sequence using fft algorithm dft sequence using fft algorithm in see here they will give a dft sequence like this and we need to do um, solve this by using fft algorithm so like this so many questions are there in cr books you can refer that so dft sequence using fft algorithm next numericals on n equal to 4 n equal to 8 fft and dit fft okay numericals next numericals on dif and idift mostly mostly they will ask this this uh, 10th one 11th one mostly okay this two are mostly mostly asked questions and these are mostly asked questions so i will give in other color another color these are mostly asked questions okay next going to unit 3 you need to compare analog filter and digital filter compare analog filter and digital filter next properties of butterworth low pass filter next most important one write the expression expression for order of butterworth and chebyshev filter next compare bilinear and impulse invariant method next again numericals on but these are the numericals so i'll give it another color butterworth butterworth is most asked question differentiate between butterworth and impulse invariant like this they are they ask us so this is also asked question previous year so you need in butterworth you have various question like low pass high pass low pass butterworth high pass butterworth butterworth chebyshev type 1 type 2 all this you need to prepare next explain impulse invariant method of iar filter next again mostly numericals on bilinear and impulse invariant method so mostly they are asking on bilinear impulse invariant and bilinear one one question you will get next fourth unit nothing much only all numericals you need to prepare numerical problems on frequency on frequency response okay next four year methods okay next window techniques this is a i'm sure question window techniques you can make a point of what you want to mark it how you want to prepare you prepare but this is a deadly gun shot question <coughs> okay window techniques are gun shot questions so again i'll this is gun shot question you have to prepare all window techniques next define phase delay and group delay only two topics fifth one explain about fixed 
explain about fixed point quantization and floating point quantization explain about fixed point quantization and floating point quantization next explain finite word length effect in digital filter explain finite word length effect in digital filter next numericals on uh, z transform uh, canonic cascaded and parallel form okay z transform canonic cascaded and parallel form so in dsp mostly all the questions they will ask numerical type from unit 2 definitely they will ask this uh, 4.8 point and this fft these questions definitely from your unit 2 you will get numericals unit 1 mostly will get theory and unit 3 you will get theory and as well as numericals unit 4 also same and unit 5 only numericals so if you like my video please subscribe share and comment below thank you